friends, today we're going to do the New Year's Resolutions book tag. Is she wearing the same shirt for like the 87th video in a row? Yes. Is she bulk filming and not pretending to change her shirt and pretend like it's a new day? Absolutely. Because you all know it's the same day and I'm not taking the time to change my shirt. Okay? Okay, it's a cool shirt. It's got skulls and tarot cards and butterflies, crystal balls, hourglasses, moons, candles, crystals, hand thing. Like, it's a cool shirt, so you're just going to learn to like it. Okay, moving on. I found this video, this tag, via Bookables, and she linked the original video, but that channel no longer exists or is no longer available for me to peruse, so I will link bookables video in the description box down below for you and also try to remember to put all the questions in there but I make no promises because I'm a terrible human being. So basically this is like 10 questions of books that I want to read in the next year but also kind of not really. Okay let's just roll with it. One, an author you'd like to read that you've never read before. Victoria Lee. I'm really excited to read A Lesson in Vengeance. I have it on audiobook so I should be reading it soon. I've been waiting for the audiobook to come through from my library for like 300 years. So all of the excitement. A book you'd like to read, This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. A, it's gorgeous. B, when you open it up, it's even more gorgeous. And C, it's witchy. So like I have to read it because, because I have to. And I'm very excited about this book. And I honestly don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, except I have no brain. So Bing, this be the one. Three is a classic you'd like to read. For that, I pick one of the Bronte sisters. I don't know which one. I've got both Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. One of those two I would like to read this year. Four, a book you'd like to reread. For that, I'm going with Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. I read that in October. I loved it. It was fucking creepy. And I would love to reread it and like get like with the knowledge that I have now, I would love to see the little breadcrumbs of what was happening in the creep. Yeah. Five is a book you've had for ages that you want to read. And I feel like I have a hundred books on my shelf that qualify for that. So we're not going to talk about it. Um, I have a lot of books and I have a lot of books I need to read. I will say that I successfully have less than 20 books that I've purchased this year that I haven't read yet. And I feel really good about that. It might be less than 15. Like I have very few books that I've bought this year that I haven't read. So feeling good about that aspect at least. A big book you'd like to read, uh, Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. I've been saving it up for a reading vlog, which we all know I don't actually do vlogs, but I've been saving it for a reading vlog and I haven't picked it up yet and I need to because I really enjoyed the first book and I, I need to read it. I need to read a lot of things, but it's whatever. An author you've read before and you want to read more of, Katrina Leno. I read Summer of Salt earlier this year, which hilariously is like the one book of hers that I didn't own when I read it. I own all of the rest of them, but hadn't picked them up. I've also since read Horrid and loved that. I loved Summer of Salt. So I have a couple more books by her on my shelves. Want to get to, absolutely. Eight, a book you got for Christmas that you would like to read. I haven't got any books for Christmas yet because it's like, four or five days before Christmas. So I haven't got any of those yet. But I mean, I have 117 out of books on my shelves. And I'm sure some of them were gifts. So let's just roll with it. A series you would like to read start to finish. I have also reading vlogs of like five series that I have the entire series on my shelf that I would like to read. And I think the one I want to do first is Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black. So I definitely want to get to that this year. A series you want to finish that you've already started. For that, I'm going with the Water Song series by Amanda Hawking. I've read the first two books and I haven't read the second two. And largely that's just because the first two books were on audio and the second two books aren't. And we all know I'm terrible at reading physical books. Why do I own so many if I can't sit down and read them? I don't know. You tell me. We'll both know. 10 is do you set reading goals? Which I do. And if so, how many books do you want to read in 2022? Well, I thought about it. And if you've been watching all of these videos this month, you know that my goal for 2022 is to do 25% of all of my hobbies so that I can give more time to writing and life and self-care. And so since my reading goal for 
2021 was 120 books. That makes my reading goal for 2022 30 books. Will I read more than that? Probably, hopefully, because I, you know, try to read 31 books in October. So hopefully I do read more than 30 books. But also, if I don't, oh well. Any other reading goals? <laughs> Why, in fact, I do have another reading goal. It's to read my ARCs at the very least in the month that they're published. I've been terrible about reading arcs. I've been getting to them like within a few weeks after they're published typically. I'm not doing great with them because I don't like to read ebooks and why do I agree to read arcs as an ebook when I don't like ebooks? You tell me, we'll both know, but I definitely need to get to more of those. So my other secondary goal is to read arcs like at least in the month that they're published. Will that happen? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. That's it for me, that's all I have. Again, I will link in the description box down below the original video for this. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't wanna miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.